Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Gemini's inside of their mind reading for the month of April. In this message, Gemini, we are going to tap into the energy surrounding you, the energy surrounding your person, and we're going to see what's challenging this between the two of you. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into your person's mind. In this portion of the message, we'll look at what their perception of you is, what their perception of the challenge is, what they're not telling you in the present energy, and what their true intentions are moving forward. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Gemini, let's see what we can see for your upcoming energy here for the month of April. Most important message here for Gemini Spirit. What do my Gemini friends need to see? Gemini, there's definitely an energy of something coming to an end, a chapter coming to a close. For some of you, this is an actual ending, maybe of a partnership. The energy surrounding you, Gemini, the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Swords with the Knight of Wands. I feel here, Gemini, you have been trying to stand your ground. You've been trying to stand firm in your boundaries, focus on your own healing process. With the Knight of Wands present, there is an energy of maybe indecisiveness, okay, um, if you're making the right decision. We're going to clarify all of this here in a minute. Your person's energy here is the world, the Ace of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. So definitely feel an energy of completion, completion of a cycle, and either speaking their truth or wanting to know the truth. Okay, we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute, Gemini. The challenge here, the judgment, the four of pentacles, the two of swords, you are both closed off to moving forward in this connection. And the judgment energy tells me that you guys are trying to free yourself. I feel like this is a reciprocated energy between the two of you. So, to clarify this, Gemini, I do feel like your person is standing their ground in walking away. I do feel here you're still back and forth about this decision. Should you stay? Should you go? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands for Gemini's energy. Mm -hmm. Gemini, you're ignoring your intuition here because something isn't working, but you're still wanting to try, wanting. I feel like you're open to trying again, to be honest with you. What I feel Gemini is coming through is this situation here has ran its course. Let's clarify your person's world energy, the Ace of Swords. What I feel here, Gemini, is there may have been a lot of information that came out, either about you, either about your person that caused there to be this disconnect. Now, even if there is an intense connection that is felt here between the two of you, I will say that this situation is not serving. It's hurting more than helping. Your person is open to having a conversation, to communicating, 
but I honestly feel here they're not going to be expressing how they truly feel. I feel like they're going to be holding back. And I also get the sense, Gemini, that you're going to be able to feel this disconnect. There's other people that are involved in this situation. I will say that. I do feel like you know that this person is back and forth between you and another person, back and forth between making this work and walking away, and maybe they're just trying to explore their options here. What I feel is coming out here, Gemini, and we're going to dive a little bit deeper into your person's perception here, into what they're thinking about the situation, but I honestly feel like it's time to free yourself from this person. So, see what their perception of you is in this present energy. If you guys find this message is helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. Gemini's person's perception of Gemini spirit. Please and thank you. What do my Gemini friends need to see? Nine of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, Hierophant, this person is watching you walk away. And I feel here, Gemini, that this person knows that they are losing something that could have been great, an intense connection that brought them a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. But I also feel here, Gemini, this person is having a hard time opening up. Their perception of you, Gemini, you're focusing on your own happiness. You're focusing on your own stability. You're trying to bring in balance, stability, and focus on long-term commitment. Finding the one. We have the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck, so this person is holding on to some resentment, um, some regret for some of you. They're looking back on the past as they messed up. So what is their perception of the challenge here with Gemini Spirit? Please and thank you. What is their perception here of the challenge? You've changed your mind. You've changed your mind, Gemini. Now, have you really changed your mind, Gemini? To be honest with you, you're still back and forth. I don't feel like you have completely changed your mind about this person. I do feel like there has been a lot of uncomfortable moments between you and this person, a lot of challenges that you guys have had to overcome. And I do feel like you are looking at the situation as, should I stay or should I go? But I don't feel like you've made that decision yet. What is this person not telling Gemini in the present energy spirit? This person wants to come forward, express how they truly feel to you. In fact, this person may rush in, Gemini, and try to get your attention. And this could even be in a negative context. They could be trying to get your attention in a negative way, okay? Protect yourself, protect your energy, but I also feel like there's a need to prepare. Prepare for a conversation if you're making that decision to close out this chapter, because we still see that you're indecisive about this decision, Gemini. If you're making a decision to close this chapter out, you have to be prepared to release this person. Don't have them holding on to something that isn't serving them. It's going to cause more of this Five of Cups energy, resentment, hurt, loss. 
which can turn into anger, which can manifest into other negative things if you let it go down that road. But if you put the nail in the coffin, close out the chapter so you can move forward into this new beginning, there will be no hard feelings. However, if you feel like you want a new beginning with this person and you're open to having a new beginning, you need to be prepared to express to this person the expectations that you're going to have to move forward so the cycle doesn't happen again. I do feel like there is a closing out of a chapter. For some of you, you are completing, you're moving away from this person. You've changed your mind. You're no longer dealing with this energy. For some of you, you do feel an intense connection with this person and you are open to giving them another try. You just aren't telling them this yet. So let's look at this person's true intentions moving forward here, Gemini, in this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I feel like this person is waiting. They're going to be entertaining other people. But I feel like this person is waiting for this connection to come back together. Some of you aren't going to be entertaining this person again. I see that coming out in the cards. Okay. Some of you have actually changed your mind. Okay. Some of you are, are focusing on work, are not entertaining relationships in the present energy, do have a lot going on where you don't have time, attention, energy to focus on a relationship. Okay. What I will say, Gemini, is if you are open to a new beginning with this person, pay attention. Pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the warning signs. Know that this person's energy hasn't shifted. And they're in an energy of blame. Blaming this on this ending on you. So you're going to need to, again, make a decision. Okay? But if you walk away... It's going to be important to close out this chapter completely. Put the nail in the coffin. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice. Moving forward, Gemini. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading. In the extended version, we'll take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energies. We'll see where this is all headed the outcome if the advice is followed the lesson that is present it's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below gemini and i know this is going to be difficult for you guys to hear okay because of the energy that i'm feeling because of the cards that are coming out you're being called to to end it Take some time, take some space for yourself, focus on your healing process, focus on finding that balance, prepare, because this person is in an energy of coming back around, and you need to make a decision on what you're going to do, how you're going to approach the situation. I challenge you to ask yourself if this is still serving your highest good. Okay, is this still serving a purpose and what purpose is that? How do you envision the future with this person? Okay, and envision that they aren't going to change and you're not going to change. So in the present energy, moving forward, how do you envision this working? Do you envision this working? That's going to give you a sense of what your next move should be. So, Gemini, let's pull out a Romance Angel card coming up. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. Again, if you guys want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Gemini, this is a very interesting Romance Angel card coming out for your reading. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. 
beautiful 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 so gemini i feel like that's a good solid message coming out thank you guys again for all the love and support and i look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon namaste